Here in America, it's the beginning of autumn, the time of year when the weather gets cooler, the leaves are changing, and Joe Biden's arm starts growing out a winter coat. It's also the time of year when only the true psychopaths among us would be starting their holiday shopping. But apparently this year, the psychopaths might be onto something. You may want to start your holiday shopping now, like tonight, if you actually want to get your gifts in time for the festivities, we're told. Heads up, you may want to get started early with your holiday shopping. If there are certain items that are on your wish list or your kids' or family's wish list this year, you're going to want to scoop them up early to avoid potential um, out-of-stock issues. So if you have something in mind this holiday season for uh, a family member, a, a child, go ahead and secure that now. Do not wait. Christmas shopping needs to start right now. Oh man, I gotta get online right away and tell my friends to buy gifts for me right now. Hurry up, guys. We can't miss this opportunity to get my gifts. Ah! So yeah, all the experts are saying that we've gotta start doing our holiday shopping ASAP, which you have to admit is gonna be really bad news for all the guys who aren't sure about the girl that they're with right now. Honey, when I got your gift three months ago, I didn't know if we would still be together or broken up, uh, so I got you a 10-piece McNuggets. Merry Christmas. So, why is holiday shopping season already turning into such a mess? Well, it's actually a lot of problems all coming together at the same time, starting with a shortage of something that's inside basically everything. The coronavirus pandemic has led to a critical shortage of computer chips. That's impacting production of everything from toasters to washing machines and to automobiles. The global chip shortage means higher prices and fewer options for shoppers this holiday season. These chips, of course, are in everything. Cell phones, cars, laptops, Peloton, your coffee maker. This computer chip problem is probably not going to get resolved until at least the end of next year, perhaps not even until 2023. Americans are going to have to exercise a, a healthy dose of patience this holiday season. That's right. Thanks to COVID, there is a major chip shortage right now. And that, my friends, is a huge problem because almost everything we use has a chip in it. Toys, video games, appliances, the vaccine. Oops, we need to cut that last part out. Fauci told me not to tell anyone about it. <laughs> Literally everything has a chip in it. Our computers, our exercise equipment, our Facebook CEOs. I mean, although maybe this is an opportunity to think about whether we want to keep adding computer chips into every single product. Like, people, do we really need our toasters to have chips? I mean, actually, I always burn my toast, so it would be nice if it would, like, alert me, you know? But, but where does it end? Are bananas gonna come with chips? I mean, I would like it if I knew when they're actually ripe. That would be great to get a text from my banana. Like, my point is, let's hurry up and get chips into everything, people. Wait, was that my point? So look, whether you want to buy a, a, a computer for your family uh, or a smart fridge, or you're that guy in the Lexus commercial who gets his wife a car with a giant bow on it every single year, there might not be enough chips for everyone. And even if you are able to order your gift of choice, you might have to wait a long time until it actually arrives. Shipping wars, an onslaught of manufacturing and cargo disruptions may make in-demand products delay in shipment or sell out altogether. This drone footage capturing the growing backlog of cargo ships stuck in the southern coast of California. A spiraling global crisis began with COVID-19 shutdowns in Asia, which drove shipping and production delays. That created shortages in shipping containers and was compounded by limited warehouse space, trucking issues, and especially labor shortages. Now, companies like Costco, Walmart, and Home Depot taking matters into their own hands. The retail giants renting out their own shipping containers and looking for different ports of entry. Yeah, that's right. Shipping delays are getting so bad that Costco, Walmart, and Home Depot have started running their own ships, which is insane. And it's really gonna confuse any pirates who try and capture the Home Depot ship. Look at me, look at me. I am, hello? Hello, is anybody there? Hello? Is anybody who can help me on this ship? I need to tell somebody I'm the captain. Hello? Is, how can you have a ship with no, hello? Hello? I guess I am the captain. By default, I've become the captain. 
But yeah, because of how badly COVID disrupted supply chains, shipping to America is super delayed right now. And as annoying as it is, we should take a moment to appreciate that it's only annoying because we've gotten spoiled by getting stuff from Asia every week. I mean, you realize that's a miracle, right? Just getting stuff from another continent. Like, imagine telling Marco Polo that you're mad because your Peloton isn't getting to you from China until next Thursday. He would be pissed. It took him four years to travel to China to get his Peloton. But let's say you are able to buy your product and they are able to get it off the boat and into a store. Now, all you have to do is drop it in the mail, ship it off, right? Well, don't wait until the last minute because it turns out that the mail is still being run by the Grinch. Mail delivery is about to slow down and get more expensive. Beginning on Friday, the U.S. Postal Service is slowing its target delivery time by about 30%. This will specifically impact first-class packages. In some cases, it could take up to two days longer to arrive. Postmaster General Louis DeJoy previously announced the changes to save billions of dollars. We are not structured properly, and we have fallen out of step with the marketplace we serve. Okay, wait, 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 hold, hold up, hold up. Louis DeJoy is still in charge of the Postal Service? Like, am, am I the only one who's confused? I assumed Biden fired that guy on day one. This, this is like finding out that Mike Pence is still vice president. I like it here because Biden hasn't threatened to hang me. I mean, maybe people misjudged DeJoy, you know? Like, everyone thought Trump put him in office to slow down the mail to sabotage the election, but it turns out he may just suck at his job. We owe him an apology. But regardless, the fact is that the mail is about to get really, really slow, just in time for the holidays. And as much as I hate saying this, part of the blame has to be on grandmothers. Yeah, I said it, I said it. If y'all would learn how Venmo works, the mail system wouldn't be getting all clogged up with holiday cards that have $5 in them, Nana. So, that's where we are right now. Because of all these shocks to the supply chain, it doesn't look like everybody will be able to get the gifts that they want for Christmas. But maybe because of that, there's an opportunity here. Maybe tonight, you can sit your family down and tell them that this Christmas isn't going to be about gifts. It's gonna be about family and friends and spending time with the ones you love. Because that's the only gift anybody really needs. And once they accept that, and everyone in the world stops trying to buy gifts to fill the void inside, that's when you jump online and you get all the gifts for yourself. Merry Christmas, bitches!